hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from welcome back to the channel sooty baby sooty mama sooty special sooty sprinkle sooty spicy sooty lights you guys i love these nails anyway um today's video is going to be inspired actually it's inspired by to look solutions i just watched a video of hers uh, where she talks about the struggle of making adult friendships and i really just wanted to um, share my two cents my own experiences i love that she went into the details kind of like the incident and everything that you know, made her scared of forming friendships and friendship heartbreak and things like that and i'm sure that all of us can relate in some way sometimes you are the one that made the mistake so you are the villain in the story and other times something happened to you right something they did something to you that affected you affected the way you view friendships and things like that and i just wanted to you know share my own like i guess my experiences what i've learned why i think that um despite the fact that we've been burned we need to keep trying and trying and trying again because truly um you can't just base your entire adult life especially on the fact that you've been hurt before because we need people right so yeah if you're interested in what i want to say please keep on watching and yeah let's get into the video so guys um i was one of those people who don't have or didn't have let's say didn't have that you know those 20 years friendship 30 years friendship i have a few of them but none of them is close to me right like close to me right now but even those people that have known like you know <clears throat> you know there's a difference between knowing somebody for 20 30 years and, so, and then there's a difference between being friends for with somebody for 20 30 years they, they, they're a completely different thing and i think we need to talk about that first just because you know somebody just because you guys are family friends or something that you guys are friends i think that's where one of these issues start from just because you guys you know share things in common you meet and you click doesn't mean that you should start spilling your beans and start expecting a lot of things from people because some people will take you as acquaintance and you are taking them as best friend okay <laughs> let's talk about it let's talk about it there was the time right where the people i used to call my best friend my best friend but i realized one day they never actually refer to me as best friend so you have to realize first of all first things first you have to realize your place in people's lives and treat it accordingly you cannot be doing best friend sisterhood something something for somebody that just sees you as an opportunity or someone that sees you as somebody that is a means to an end to connect them to another thing or somebody who sees you as somebody that is going to help their future basically do you get what i'm saying so the, if you can avoid all of that, if you can do this, you will avoid a lot of heartbreak. If you can save your the standard of relationship, if you can save people in your life and arrange them according to order, you know, friends, you know, sisters, that's people that become friends and family, church goers, colleagues in the office, call your colleagues, they don't them know your friends, they don't like you, they will jump and pass you just to get another opportunity. So many things like that. So if you're able to identify all of these things, you will save a lot of heartache. So there are friendships that, hey, back to what I was saying in the beginning, that um, I'm one of those people that didn't have you know, those long-term friendships. So I've made friends at every stage of my life. Let's say I'm, I made some friends in secondary school, then from secondary school to pre-uni, I made some friends there then in uni i meet some friends there like that okay some of them have transitioned throughout my adult life as we are growing together we are growing some of them it was just for that period of season and everything so i've never really had you know those things and it really affected me because um you know when it was time to get married i struggled a little bit because everybody when they say you who you choose as your bridesmaids and who you choose as um you know people who are supposed to support you and actually big girls they're talking about your girls who have known you for a long time and all that and i didn't i think in my whole bridal squad everybody that was inside apart from my siblings and my sisters-in-law were people that i met at different points so law school in fact law school and uni right so i didn't have that like i said i didn't have those guys my g's my this my dad that know me to the core and all of that stuff i didn't have that so it made me feel sad a little bit but yeah um to talk about like heartbreak and relationships because of this i feel that i've had to every time when I meet, meet a new person, you start telling person your story, you start telling person your this, you start connecting. And it's as if ah, it's exhausting, right? You just keep going and going and going. But, you know, along the way, I realized that the heartbreak that I experienced, he <laughs> paid me, oh, some of them paid me. Like, one of the reasons why I even experienced such heartbreak or such hurt was because 
I also did not share when I was hurt, okay? So maybe I will give you an example of one of my friends. My, my good friend, we are very good friends now, but I wish we spoke up and talked about things earlier and we would have sorted some things out, right? But I don't want to go into the details of things, but it was a big misunderstanding. Something happened. I heard something that was said about her and I wasn't sure how to tell her what I heard, right? And so I went to another friend, like, come on. Um, this thing was said. I didn't even tell the friend everything that was said, but I was like, these things were said. How do I approach this other person? That's my friend now. Um, and tell her that come these things were said. And she was like, I don't bother relationship matter. Don't put your mouth inside. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. I was like, okay, I'm not going to say anything. And I left it. I just took the advice of my friend because I'd already been burned before. Like I found out that a friend was seeing somebody who was already, you know, in a very committed relationship with a child. And I told her and it all hell broke loose. And they're like, oh, why am I dead? So I was just like, let me just avoid relationship people and take the advice that they said, right? Basically. So it turns out that this friend kind of told her boyfriend that, oh, Suti said this, this, this. The boyfriend, when they were in a gathering, now said Suti said, and didn't even say the thing completely because I didn't tell the gist fully. Okay, so like I was saying, when they are replaying it and talking about it, by the time they add the Maggie salt to remove this code, it, it was just not what I said. I don't even know what they, the thing was just a big misunderstanding. So this issue caused a rift between me and my friend, my very good friend. And it just affected, and I was hurt because I didn't get a chance to explain. I was hurt because by the time they narrated it to her, she believed everything that was said. Now, by the way, we have talked about this. We have discussed. We have sorted it out to years later. Oh, can you imagine? Years later. I, in fact, when I mean years later, like two mo last month or two months ago, we never would have come up. We just kind of somehow brushed it up. This person was still in my bridal train. Like, but the issue was that we were. I was hurt by how this thing played out. How people ganged up against me. How it turned into something else. How I almost lost my very good friend because of this. We didn't speak for a while. We started speaking when something happened something happened that triggered like that my accident i don't know if you guys have watched the video where i showed how my car got burnt and it went up in flames and stuff like that my first car my dad my dad bought for me went up in flames we didn't start talking till that incident happened and then we now reconnected and it was just like nothing ever happened and then we went on and on for different things she was even on my bridal train stuff like that happened and it, 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 it's crazy how i never spoke up and she never spoke up about things that hurt her as well. So it took one incident where she was trying to vent and say what I did to her that I now like addressed my own side of things and she addressed her. And I think we're better for it. But what was the point that I'm trying to make? I was listening to Tolu and everything. And the truth is that a lot of the times we don't communicate our hurt in friendship. We don't talk about how somebody um, you know, made us feel some kind of way. We don't talk about how the actions of your friend or inactions of your friend hurt you. We just kind of either move on, we cancel the person or whatever. I think that the reason why adult friendships struggle a lot is because we don't communicate. We don't know how to communicate, okay? If I had said how I felt, like, come, you, babe, me and you have a bit of a history let's trust this out now i didn't mean to say this i didn't mean to hurt you i didn't do this is what happened perhaps we would have avoided two years of not speaking to each other and you know and all the underlying things that happened and all of that stuff this is just an incident or an example of things that happen you know in adult friendships and now i'm the kind of person that like i said i didn't have those clicks and so i have to make friends over time but I have, i'm the kind of person that is really close to my husband but marriage, early marriage taught me that um, you have to make friends that are not your partner. You have to have people that you speak to, people that you can talk to, people that you can share things with, people that you can discuss with, people that you can have conversations with when, you know, life gets overwhelming. That is not your partner. That is not your husband. Yes, I'm close to my husband. Yes, yes, we talk. But it cannot be all the time. And another reason why... And, and so... I had to make sure that I started trying and putting myself out there. A lot of people don't put themselves out there. You have been hurt, you've been backstabbed, so you don't put yourself out there. So you are miserable. A lot of people are miserable in their adult life because they don't have friends. And so in putting myself out there, realizing that, okay, I need to make people, all my friends are still in Abuja because I lived in Abuja for a lot of time. I, I schooled in Canada and the UK, so all my friends are scattered all over the world. So I didn't have enough people in Port Harcourt. So, okay, so you need to put yourself out there. And I started putting myself out there. But the problem is, like I said in the beginning, when you don't know how to categorize people in your life, you make mistakes. 
you will share information with people who are you're not supposed to talk to you would be close to people who you have no business being close to every friendship should have a fundamental thing that brings you guys together and it cannot be gossip and it cannot be hatred for another person it cannot be shade it cannot be this it cannot be that because that friendship at the end of the day it will bite you in the bum bum <laughs> okay it, it will come back and bite you in the bum. it cannot be solid okay you have to have fundamental alignment as in your beliefs your parenting styles because honestly speaking having mommy friends can be an issue because when you see your mom friend doing something crazy you're just like if i leave my kids with this person is this what she's going to do so it's better to have someone that aligns with your beliefs and your you know ideals and your ideology and all of that two like i said don't build friendships on the back of biting backbiting gossip and all of that yeah. and a particular friendship that i had that was based on of the fact that um something happened with her other friends it was just like a connection and all that we did it wasn't based off of that but we kind of connected when we're talking about it you know and then we became close and all of that and then and after the scene that this other person was not as bad as the general idea of who she is and somehow me and that person also became close and it became an issue for this other person and blah 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 so any friendship that cannot stand on its own without you know competition with another person hatred of another person but by saying i another person it can never stand she can that is the truth of the woman it can't stand it can't stand so you know friendships where you can't tell people the truth where if you see the person's husband with another woman you can't say ah come on this is what i saw this is what i saw friendships where you are making a fundamental mistake something is happening and your friend can't tell you call you out and tell you that almost see you you know this thing you are doing is wrong this way the way you're going about it is wrong maybe you don't even agree you might not agree with the person's opinion because everything is an opinion right but if this person is trying to tell you this you can't even accept it you can't listen to it why are you calling this person your friend what's the point this this video i don't know the essence of what i'm saying is that a lot of us are not actually friends with our friends the people we are friends with our enemies or acquaintances or people that we should even be friends with you should just see them greet them and pass they were there in your life for a particular way. that's why we are experiencing a lot of heartbreak okay sometimes because you know somebody for a long time they're your family friends they're only you only connected because their mother and your mother were friends not because you and this person are actually friends that's a lesson to learn that's a lesson to learn Sometimes you are the bad guy. You are the bad guy. You did not treat this friend well. You were always receiving, receiving, receiving. You are always receiving. There's a particular friend of mine that I care about her so much. But I realized I don't know if I do enough for the friendship. I don't know if I water the friendship enough. Because she does a lot for me. She has done a lot for me. And I'm like, do I pour back into her? Are you able to look inside yourself and ask yourself, am I doing enough for this friendship? Am I visiting her? Am I checking on her? Am I buying gifts when necessary? Am I loving her the way that she wants to be loved? And if she hurts you, are you communicating the hurt so you can move past it? I've said this before. I don't know if I said it on this channel, but most likely, your boyfriend will cheat on you, beat you. He would, you know, flirt with other women, do so many other things. Yet you forgive him. Your husband will leave you with your pregnancy and be going out with his guy friends and be chilling up and down doing other things you can't talk you ask for money he will give you half so many evil things that men do right but you still take care of you, you still forgive him you still take him back you still post him on his birthday my king and a king and more this and this and they but your girlfriend will make a small mistake we we'll try to tell you the truth try to communicate with you counsel I guess an enemy of progress she's a dish she why won't you have problems in making why won't you say oh i don't make friends i don't have girlfriends women. i don't trust women blah 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 see if i didn't have women in my life i would i don't know what i'll be doing i don't know what i'll be doing because i know how my, my husband sometimes me and my husband they quarrel i cannot talk to him imagine he's the cause of my stress and i'm still him i'm going back to, to talk to. i need somebody else to talk to jasmine is doing something and struggling with parenting i need someone to talk to someone i just want to chill in the workplace in my office i'm just like okay people are stressing me i need to chill i want to go out i want to do my nails I want... you can't you don't have anybody to talk to because why 
so the story of all these things is that we're not, nobody is perfect right none of us are perfect i've gone through a lot of friendship things you know i used to be that person i think me and boomsy is obvious there's a video on my channel i don't know if i privated it when i privated all my videos but we talked about how um boomer boomsy sports we met on youtube here and somehow we clicked and connected and we become like sisters in such a short time but we talked about how like we had an issue because i didn't appreciate i didn't like that she wasn't calling and checking like you know she wasn't i felt like she wasn't concerned she was just seeing me and think everything was okay so she's doing well to one day like this like i didn't want to talk about it like again me not really confronting situations i was just like okay let me just free her let me just leave it let me not just talk and all of that and you know i confronted her eventually after she kept asking and i just realized that i'm that kind of friend that i like friendship i like love i like mm, i like all these things you know so being friends with another person that is not like that can come off as well this person doesn't care about me but the person just expresses love in a completely different way the person is not as affectionate as i can be the person is not all oh, in your space going body leaving heart emojis and comments saying love you all those kind i'm the kind of person that friend i will tell my friends i love you have a good day that i miss you i'm so okay to say that i'm very very expression i can express my feelings but imagine having friends that are not so in tune with those emotions like that or feel like you know is that so that's why we have issues so when you have to understand that that person is not always you know um, going to love you the way you love you want to be loved they can try but they might not be perfect in and accept them that way but also draw boundaries don't take all the things like if you see that somebody's not putting in effort then it's okay too because i know that there are people that i've liked i've genuinely liked like i want to be your friend i've shot my shots indirectly and directly but i don't get i don't get reciprocation i will send you messages you will not reply i'll do you know, call you i'll buy stuff for you you will never do, do those kinds of things i just know that um, me and you cannot work we can't connect you know and just so i'm just like okay you know what take a step back you said learn your boundaries and know where you're not wanted so you avoid hurt you know you avoid hurt so the, the video is just like this video is me talking about things that i've experienced and how to avoid things that i've experienced do you understand how to avoid some of these things because yes i will still i know that i will still get heartbreak or i may help somebody as well but at least when you under identify these red flags you know when you're being vulnerable imagine being vulnerable with somebody and basically like ah, you said you to do that's maybe a, that's somebody that you should not even be close to you should maybe you can keep them as colleagues or whatever but you cannot be sharing intimate things with this person that doesn't value the vulnerability it doesn't value your opinion it doesn't value the fact that it is amazing it's actually a blessing to have somebody that feels that you are somebody worth opening up to and expressing yourself to and yet it's almost like they're shitting on your on your vulnerability your feelings and stuff like that. people that you can't share that oh, i'm sad I'm not happy. I'm not happy in my marriage. I'm not happy in my job. I'm not happy in my children. I'm not happy with this. Or oh, I'm happy. On the other hand, I'm very happy. Oh, because of this. And it's almost like your achievement is not good enough because it's not as good as their own achievement. Those unhealthy competitions, avoid those people so you don't enter friendship. Hard. You don't come and tell us. I like you to come and tell us because I like listening to these kind of things. But like you avoid some hurt. Okay. That, if that makes any sense. So basically, like I've been saying, basically, basically, this video was just responding to Tulu in a way that um to show that see uh, all of us have gone through a form of heartbreak or data but part of it is our fault part of it is our fault you saw the red flag you still entered inside you saw that if we don't align you don't have any agreement your fundamental is um ideologies are so different i mean you are receiving the abuse but because you also wanted to say oh i have a friend i had this and this you still collected it you know they are very simple there are sometimes you will see signs you will see, you see this friendship click thing, the friendship group thing, just forget about it. Unless you guys have known from time, but there will always be, always be two, 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 two aside, three aside, this one aside, then the old man out and all of that. Don't, just avoid it for your own sanity, okay? It's not worth it, I don't think. It's not worth it. So yeah, those, these are my thoughts on that topic and friendship and all of that stuff. Um, I know you guys are expecting vlogs from me, but I've just been busy. I have been busy. I've been doing lots of things, but I'll get it. But I've just compiled a bit of things. Things are going on. Okay. And so, yeah, we'll talk about it later. Okay.
all right i'll see you guys later i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up like subscribe and share Mwah. bye